What's going on everyone? Welcome back to The Sweet Studios. I'm Joshua Grove and today we are here to learn the big cup to spike in Ken Grip. Now today I'll be using the Prime Radar in green to do this trick. So for big cup and Ken Grip, first be sure to go check out the grips tutorial so you know a proper Ken Grip. And we're gonna jump right into going to big cup to spike. Now, going to spike requires a little bit of a different technique than just going to big cup. When you were just doing big cup, you're mostly focused on just catching it to the cup. Now, when we're wanting to go to the spike, we wanna add a little more control to the ball. So how do we do that? Now, I first want you to start in Ken Grip with the big cup facing up. And what I want you to do is slightly have the Ken on your opposite side. So uh, if I'm a right-handed player, I'm gonna have it directly over my left leg. If I'm a right-handed or a left-handed player, I'm gonna have it right over my right leg. Now, what I want you to do once you have the Ken in this position is you're just gonna pop the ball up and you're gonna make a motion across your body uh, just like so. So I'm gonna pop the ball to the right, just like so. And doing that allows for the hole to face me and turn upwards when I pull the ball up. Now when I do this, it allows it so that I can see the hole and then I can move into attempting the spike. When I have the hole facing me, essentially to spike it, you're gonna come up and you're just gonna make this slight curve motion so that the ball just releases away from the cup and you can track the hole following it to the spike. What, le what that looks like in full motion, which is a nice motion, that slight angle, and then tracking the ball straight down to the spike. What you wanna focus on when you're getting it to the spike is imagine like, just like you're doing a regular spike, you wanna imagine like the ball's gonna land right on top of your thumb. So you come up, and just imagine like that ball's gonna fall right on top of your thumb. Now you may think that you need to go after and jab after the spike, but I wanna invite you just to allow for the ball to come down using your knees and following that ball down. When you try to jab at the ball, it's gonna make it a little more challenging to get consistent with this trick. Now, what happens if the hole is not facing you? Ideally, that's what we want to happen. We wanna have that hole facing us to give us the best chance to catch the spike. But what happens if the hole's facing away from me like so? How do I possibly get it to spike? What you're gonna do is you can actually align your wrist just a little bit so that the hole and that rotation is gonna make it so that when I do that arch, it's gonna just flip a little bit extra and then I'm gonna be able to get it to spike. So whatever way the hole is facing, you should be able to get it to spike when you practice this ball control. So aligning so the hole is in line with you, even though that you can't directly see it, making that slow arch, using your knees to follow through and catching it on the big cup or on the spike. Now, a lot of these techniques that I've explained here in this tutorial, Sweets also explains in the hole control tutorial. So be sure to go check that one out as well. And you may have a better understanding of gaining some hole control. So I hope this tutorial helped you out on your quest to get Big Cup to spike and Ken Grip. Be sure to check out the rest of the tutorials and good luck on the rest of your Kendama journey.